If you are watching this video, then you probably own one of these. A Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. The world's most popular, best engineered $20 radio ever invented in the history of histories. But if you are one of the many people that do not actually understand what this is or what you can or cannot do with this, then keep watching. But before I continue, allow me to take a moment to miss overemphasize my credentials, just like all of those other YouTubers do. I have been an undocumented ham radio operator for over 40 years, so do not misunderstand me because I am fully qualified to talk about this radio on the YouTubes. Your Boofwang UV5R is a ham radio. And although it is true that in just the last few months, the Boofwang Corporation has introduced a new GMRS version of the UV5R, I am not talking about that. In this video, I will be focusing on the good, old-fashioned, regular Boofwang UV5R ham radio. And according to our overlords at the FCCs, in order to transmit on a Boofwang UV5R or any ham radio, you must have a ham radio operator license. And you must transmit only on the ham radio frequencies. Even if you just want to talk to your friends and even if you just want to use it, as a walkie-talkie radio. To transmit on this radio, our overlords at the FCCs say that you must first have a permission slip. However, I would be remiss in my duties as a YouTube superstar if I did not point out that irregardless of the lies and fairy tales that many sad hams insist upon spreading in the last 10 years, nobody Nobody has gotten into trouble with the FCCs for simply transmitting or talking to their friends on a ham radio or ham radio frequencies without a license. And if you are about to leave a rage comment calling me a liar, just sit back down. I made an entire video regarding that fact, including the evidence to substantiate everything that I just said and I will leave a link to that video in the information section below. Most Boofwang UV5R radios are not locked. This means that they can transmit on a very wide range of frequencies in addition to the ham radio frequencies. This includes, but is not limited to, GMRS, MERS, and private business frequencies. And even though I just said five seconds ago that the Boofwang UV5R can transmit on GMRS frequencies. This does not make it a GMRS radio. A GMRS radio by definition is simple to use. However, because this is a ham radio, even though it can transmit on GMRS frequencies, it is still rather complicated. And one must know what one is doing in order to use it. Unlike a GMRS radio, which, as I just mentioned only moments ago, is very simple to use. And it is also important to remember that the Boofwang UV5R is not certified nor approved by our overlords at the FCCs to transmit on GMRS frequencies or on any frequency other than the ham radio frequencies. And transmitting on any non-ham radio frequencies would violate the FCC's rules, even though in the last 10 years, nobody, nobody has gotten into any trouble with the FCCs for simply using a Boofwang UV5R to transmit on GMRS or MERS frequencies. However, although it is a very, very rare occurrence, if you use the Boofwang UV5R or any radio to transmit and cause problems on other frequencies, you could indeed get a 
mean letter from the FCC's. Many of the newer Boofwang UV5R radios manufactured after about the year 2022 are locked, which means that they are locked into transmitting only on ham radio frequencies until you take the 10 seconds required to unlock it. However, be aware that some of the newer UV5R radios cannot be unlocked, no matter how hard you try. But the vast majority of Boofwang UV5R radios, basically every UV5R manufactured up until around the year of our Lord Xenu 2022, are not locked. Meaning that they can transmit on all of those frequencies that I mentioned only moments ago. If you happen to have a locked UV5R and you take those simple steps required to unlock it, the radio will still be restricted to receiving only whatever frequencies it could receive when you took it out of the box. Because unlocking a UV5R only changes what frequencies it can transmit on and it does not affect what frequencies it can receive. In these United States, there are no rules and no regulations regarding purchasing or owning a Boofwang UV5R. Anyone may purchase one and anyone may own one. Likewise, anyone can listen to anything that this radio can receive with no license or permission slip required. The Boofwang UV5R is what us radio experts call an analog FM transceiver. For those of you that are not radio dorks, this means that a Boofwang UV5R can receive and transmit only analog FM signals. So this radio cannot receive CB radio, this radio cannot receive airband, and this radio cannot receive any digital signals whatsoever. Actually, to be more precise, the Boofwang UV5R can actually receive digital signals. However, it cannot decode digital signals. So if you happen across a digital signal, you would only hear digital noise, which sounds like this. This means that you cannot listen to DMR, P25, and XDN, or anything that is trunked or encrypted. And that means that you will be unable to listen to many law enforcement agencies and many emergency services, depending upon where you are. However, you can listen to some law enforcement agencies and you can listen to some emergency services depending on where you are. And in most places, there is a lot of other stuff to listen to. The Boofwang UV5R, in despite of what some people will try to tell you, is actually a fairly rugged device. I have dropped, soaked, frozen, and run one over with my Jeep on camera in a different video, and it fared quite well, but be aware that many sad hams may look down on you or discriminate against you simply because you are using a Boofwang UV5R and they may try to tell you that your Boofwang UV5R is nothing more than cheap Chinese junk. And when a sad ham says this, what they are really trying to say but are unable to articulate due to their crippling personality defects is that they paid several hundred dollars for their radio and they are very jealous that your $20 Boofwang UV5R can do everything and in some cases even more than their much more expensive ham radio. And this makes them very sad. So when you hear a sad ham declare that the Boofwang UV5R is junk, do not laugh at them. Instead, feel sorry for them, just like the rest of their family does. Many sad hams will also warn you about the dangers, dangers, of the spurious RF emissions from the Boofwang UV5R that they claim will interfere with police communications, make airplanes drop from the sky, or start 
forest fires. When you hear these horror stories, let not your heart be troubled because first of all, normal people do not care about spurious RF emissions. And second of all, for all intensive purposes, Bufwang UV5R radios manufactured in the last several years do not really suffer from significant spurious RF emissions the way the much older ones did. And as I mentioned only moments ago, even if they did emit significant spurious RF emissions, normal people simply do not care. And even though I am not suggesting or inferring that you should ever do this, if you really want to see a sad ham head explode, just do this in front of one. Stink finger to hoochie mama. Stink finger to hoochie mama. Do you copy? Over. As you just saw with your very own ocular fluid sacs, I just transmitted on this Boofwang UV5R with no antenna attached. And as you can also see with those very same ocular sacs, nothing happened. And yes, the radio still works just fine. Using an unlocked Boofwang UV5R, you can talk with most other... Using a Boofwang UV5R, you can talk with most other walkie-talkie radios and most ham and GMRS repeaters. The Boofwang UV5R radio supports CTCS and DCS, DTC, DPL codes and tones, sometimes erroneously referred to as privacy tones, even though they provide no privacy at all in any way whatsoever. The Boofwang UV5R radio outputs around 5 watts, depending upon what frequencies you are transmitting on, and how many FARs you can get using a Boofwang UV5R radio will depend upon several factors. The biggest factor being what is between you and the radio you wish to talk with. But you can expect to get FARs anywhere from around 500 yards to about 20 miles. Using a ham or GMRS repeater, you can potentially talk with someone up to 200 miles or so away. Not bad for a $20 piece of junk walkie-talkie radio. And finally, one of the features that makes the Boofwang UV5R so universally loved in the ham radio community is the Roger Beep option. So be sure to enable that option in the menus anytime you plan on transmitting with your Boofwang UV5R walkie-talkie radio for maximum fun and entertainment. <laughs>